Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's something really funny, I think. From a hospital, I would assume, right? Because we got EKG, EEG, probes and pulses and stuff like that. We can change between all those things and uh, we got a pulses per meter and most likely this bbd bbd beep thing measuring heart pulses or stuff like that right sear cost bs1 um, and it's from siemens i don't know much about this thing got a little thing about sensitivity or you can block something there's a trigger ah that is maybe your level for your pulses right and you can set an alarm for like internal or external or something like that right uh yeah the glass is broken but that's what happens when people throw stuff out and then somebody else picks it up so i think this is the alarm level right and you can also, with this one, you can move the maximum alarm level. This is, of course, for the metering. Let's uh, look at the bag. So it's beautifully made with a standard IEC connector. That's probably the picture up and down and then intensity. So there's a loudspeaker, maybe it goes beep, beep or something like that. And it's probably able to be connected to all sorts of external stuff. It looks like somebody's been in here. I don't know yet how to open it. I think I should probably open it before I power it up. Yeah, let's let's do that and have a little visual inspection. It's not that deep, see? If I spread my hand... So there's a really, really cute little CRT in here. I love it already. How annoying. See, I took it out of its case and now there's another case. So what I think is this unit, you can actually build into something else. But here it is inside a minimal sized case because it's completely enclosed. Again. Ha! That is uh, beautiful. That is actually very interesting. It is super, super beautifully designed. We got... It's not that easy to see from the outside, but we got some lamps, a red and a green, inside this uh, the meter. And also on the back side of the meter, we got quite a lot of connections. And that is probably because there's minimum and maximum adjustments and they will probably generate alarms and something. So there's more to it than just a meter. And that will probably be some of the circuits for the CRT. If you unscrew those two, there's a hinge, so we can bend this up. That is a super beautiful CRT. I really hope there's a picture on this one. I don't find anything really, really bad looking. I've got some big capacitors and stuff down here. And all the, the modules here yes indeed they lift up nicely a single side board and some funky module that doesn't say anything about whatever it is just this uh, funny module maybe there's a number or something can I plug them in wrong? What happens if I take out 
more than one and pretend to be completely stupid. Yeah, you see? The panels down there, they look exactly the same. So what if I take this one and stick in here? Yes, that is possible. Uh -huh. So is there any number, number stuff? So that is seven and this is eight. Whatever that means. Maybe they start somewhere else. But they just look super beautiful. What if I put them? Put them like this. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. see this one is called GR9. And that is the next one. Let me guess. GR10? Aha. Uh -huh. So that is the trick. A lot of analog stuff and goodies here. Why don't you want to come? Okay, that one is not coming. That looks like the power supply. We also got some Ooh, there's a whole line of... Yeah, that looks a little bit like power supply stuff. All sorts of little diodes and funny things here. Yeah, look at all those transistors for power supply, that little relay. That will be, yeah, okay, the adjustments and uh, whatnot. I want to have a look in here as well. Yeah, so there's also a PCB down there. This looks also a lot like power supply and stuff like that. Now, I don't see anything really bad or leaked anywhere. And that will be the high voltage um, switch mode. And up here, so probably the deflection transistors because you need um, low voltage, high current deflection for a magnetic deflection like this. So this is a normal television CRT with magnetic deflection. A scope uses a um, static deflection where it's high voltage and zero current. So it's uh, nicely made like this. This is just low voltage stuff. And down here, by the way, I believe that one is the mains transformer. Um, look how much metal this is packed into. And that is, of course, to avoid distorting the picture. Probably I should have a look at the bottom as well. So I took off the bottom plate and again it is looking like super duper high quality very well designed and well manufactured That's different voltages, right? Going to those star points and then feeding all the different modules. With the cabling here and there. The way that this is made, it is very, very evident. They know what they're doing. Oh man, this is beautiful. So that is the input output uh, sensors. Super, super high impedance, very, very low level signals. So, of course, it's in its own little chamber. There's even a 
four in one read relay. That is really one of the rarest, as you can imagine. And filters and shielded cables and all that kind of stuff. And I bet we can follow those wires here, the four wires. And see, that will definitely go to the amplifier board or something like that, right? Oh no, it goes to the to the connectors. Yeah, it goes to all those connectors and bad stuff. So that means all the amplifiers and whatnot is probably external. Oh no. I was hoping to be able to see some cool things with this one. But well, let's try and power it up and see what happens real, really. So let's just power it up and see what happens. Um, means is applied and then I flip the... Oh, how beautiful is that? That is exactly this little beep beep beep. Oh, cool. And then there was a green light here. It's 24 watts. Oh, look at that. There's a line. Oh, this screen is one of those super, super... So this is the amplifier, and there was a some sort of a noise in that one. Yeah, okay, here we go. It is responding to some of this. Ah, that is the speed. And I can probably just, it's actually very bright in here. If I crank down the the light and then where is the intensity? Is that not that one? Yeah, no, this is the position. Okay, so that one. No, no. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. It's alive at least. And this is, uh, well, at the moment it's using 17 watts. And what if I turn this light off as well? Ooh, there's a beautiful afterglow. Mana, mana. Maybe we can take off this annoying red screen. Why would you have a, or an orange screen? I don't know what color is this uh, screen really? Maybe it's white? I don't know. I would like to try and touch this with something and see, is this safe to touch with your fingers? Yeah, let's just try and touch. Oh, look at that. When I touch this with my fingers, it detects, but I don't see any. Where's my... Well, why don't I see anything when I do this? Is this something to do with this? Oh, come on, man. How can it be so difficult? Crap. Come on, man. I just want this damn thing to... Hmm. So, as you can see, I managed to get this up and running. See? This is my resting pulse. Nah, I'm kidding you. It turns out that my signal generator here can actually do all sorts of uh, built-in waveforms. Building 
medical. So in the medical menus, I can just go on and select all sorts of funky pulses. I can actually just simulate being sick with this and sick with that. I don't know. Well, that's quite funny, isn't it? So anyway. And uh, this unit actually responds pretty fine to those pulses. <sighs> ah. How cool is that? Let me go back to um, to the frequencies because I was uh, I think that this uh, meter here is a little bit stuck at least down here. Aha! The pulses per meter indication here is uh, delayed. See, if I change the the speed, it is delayed quite a lot. And then it drops. So that's how it works. One pulse per second should give you a hundred. No, so that's sixty pulses per minute, right? I mean, ah, I can hear the. Detector goes beep 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 beep, so it's detecting two, probably because of the waveform of the signal, and that is why it's uh, reading 120, as you can see here. You can see the two blinks. I turned down the volume here because it was driving me absolutely nuts, but it's uh, super fun to play with. I'm definitely not done figuring out what is is it everything here is doing I don't get any alarms by the way oh and then it cranks up volume so that works now uh, it's probably because the incoming signal is realistic and then it kicks No, then it's turned off. So that is the alarm. And then it cranks up volume. Okay. Click. Ha ha, man. So, aha, so if I have it here, and if I turn off the, the signal, will I also get an alarm? So that means you can just... Yes! There's an alarm. And then you're back alive and then the alarm will reset clickety click how nice So now that this unit seems to be working, I'm now trying to see if I can figure out how to date code it. I've been looking at the different ICs and I don't find any useful valid um, date codes or, you know, on anything like that. So that is a little bit annoying. So that came, um, I got an idea because normally you find them um, date codes on CRTs but that is not the case with this one well, look there's even this uh, sticker you can take away and the serial number for the CRT is actually written on that label down there as well so you're supposed to take this off and put this somewhere else in your documentation so you know this is the serial number that went into this and this production unit that's pretty cool huh yeah, but I don't see any um, 
update co so i don't know exactly how old this uh unit is that is uh driving me a little bit nuts because it's always always uh a lot of fun to figure that out maybe it's in hidden in the serial numbers but i just need to go and google a million times again but i really really tried yesterday but anyway uh if i figure out something i will update the description i'm also thinking about how i could probably fix this uh glass i think it's gonna be acrylic it's possible to to drill holes quite easily in acrylic and i think it is possible to get this frame out i maybe need to take out yes the entire instrument uh but it seems to be in sockets so it should be fairly easy to pull out the instrument so anyway i will end it here and say thank you very much for watching see you bye bye